All right, guys. So this lesson is going to be all about building out this My Account area endpoint and just making it look fantastic. We're going to be showing users their recent posts. And um, we're going to spruce up this little navigation header here a little bit. And of course, those are things that are automatically generated by Divi Machine accounts. But we definitely just need it to look a lot better than this, right? So let's get right to it by jumping into the back of a Divi site. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to account and all accounts. Here we've got three elements that were generated automatically. Last time we worked on the login layout or endpoint. Now we're gonna be working on the dashboard. So just go ahead and open that up by hitting either just the title or the edit button. And we'll just start building. Now we already know that by default, it's gonna show just welcome to your account as you can see, you start with a blank canvas here. And that's great because now you can just add anything that you want. So first thing we'll say is welcome to your account. That's exactly what we want. Go into visual mode here just so we see what we're doing. We are going to go ahead and what type was that? That's just regular text. So that's fine. Um, we will go to text and we'll kind of beef it up a little bit. We'll go with bold, kind of like we used on that login screen. We'll make it our blue. And then, I don't know, let's see 32 pixels. Uh, a little bit more, we'll go to 38, I think. It's gonna look decent, that's great. Awesome, okay, we're done, let's go. No, just kidding. Um, we are gonna be adding an archive loop here, of course, um, because when we look over here, we can add some you know, welcome text, and of course, that's fine. You can copy the text from the demo site, or of course, you can use the uh, site that I've kind of showed you guys a few times here. It's this lorem ipsum.io that is running quite slow right now. But yeah, okay, so here's a bunch of text. So you can copy that. You can generate more if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. To add that text in, I'll just go here. And now you can see that little overlap issue again, which is just a Divi thing. Um, we will avoid that by just going into the module view, adding another text module. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in there. And there we go. And now we go back to the visual mode and I can see the text is in there. And we'll just kind of go with that style that we have for this type of text, right? We're gonna go and make it thin or light. Um, and then we'll make it our gray color. And we'll just bump that up to 16. And I'm gonna be happy with that the way that it is. Now, since we're Adding another portion, it makes sense to add another row here. I'm going to just make a one single column row. And then by now, I know you guys know this because you guys are pros. I'm going to type in archive because we're adding an archive loop to loop through our most recent posts. Now, if you wanted to, actually, you could also use a carousel here. We've only used that one time throughout this build. So why don't we use the carousel instead? Um, we've done quite a few archive loops and we shall be doing more archive loops. So. I'm gonna type in carousel, post carousel, that's great. And then we are gonna tell it, well, we're utilizing classifieds. And also just a side note, you can see that there are some other post types that have been added. Account, for example, um, when we sold um, the machine accounts, so you'll see that quite a bit. Um, for the custom layout, of course, we'll use our classifieds loop. And that is almost already looking like a pretty decent layout, right? Now for the loop options, we can just put any number there, that's fine. We can sort it, and this is what we wanna do because we're showing our users the most recent posts, right? So it's gonna be date, and it's gonna be descending, and now zip should be first. There we go. Just as we expected it to operate on extra, you can make them equal height cards. Um, we can align the last module to the bottom, and we will check this out on the front end to make sure that's working the way you want it to. On carousel settings, we want to see three of them at a time. That's much better. And then I think this icon as white is not working fantastically. Um, and we'll deal with that in a moment. You can also deal with different layouts um, for mobile, uh, for at least for tablet. We want to keep it at three. And we want it to scroll by one always, and that's fine. We enabled the arrows, but the arrow colors are kind of gross. Let's make it our blue color so they're easy to see on this layout. We can add the dot navigation at the bottom. That's something we haven't done. So we can make those nice and blue also. And let's see, 
hopefully that shows up on the front end. <laughs> um, otherwise, we'll be coming back here to check it out. Center mode. No, we're not going to mess with that. And that's going to be really it for now. So let's quickly save this. We still obviously need to add some modules to this, but we will deal with that in a moment. I just kind of want to take a look here and see what my dashboard looks like now. And guys, th this sometimes happens in certain areas when we're using the um, full height. Um, so when you do run into this, we just go back to the back end and open up the post carousel. We're going to go to the extra options. So we're going to just take off equal height cards and that should fix our problem here. Just a little quirky thing. Um, of course, if you're a coder, you can probably fix that with some code, but if I refresh that now, everything seems to be looking fine again, and I'm happy with that. And um, let's come back and just play with those dots a little bit more. Um, carousel settings, there we go. So we want to change the active dot color to at least show. So actually, let's make the dot colors the gray, and then we'll make the active one the blue. So update that really quick and take a look one more time. Okay, yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? But actually that gray is not gonna work because we are gonna make this background that gray also. So let's quickly do that. And we'll see that that gray is gonna disappear. So I've got a backup plan for this. Go into the carousel module. We're gonna go to carousel settings. And what we'll do is we'll make the dot colors orange and then we'll make the active one blue. Update, that kind of distributes that color and that's probably a terrible design decision, but I think you guys were expecting that by now. So let's refresh this. There we go. That looks better to me. Actually doesn't look that horrible, but maybe it does, I don't know. Anyway, so there we go, we've got that. We need to add a heading for that. So let's come up here and I am just gonna go duplicate this heading here. Hey guys, no, I didn't talk about this a lot in the beginning of the course, but I probably should have. It's always a good idea to give admin names to things like this. So I would call this, you know, uh, welcome heading. And this is, what this is gonna do is it, it's gonna make it a lot easier if somebody that's not you needs to come in and start editing, editing the stuff. And maybe you're dealing with this in a year from now and you have forgotten what's what. I certainly do. Um, makes your life a little easier. So I would just say recent heading. There we go. And I'm gonna go into the visual mode over here. And we need to drag this bad boy down to be above our carousel. Then we'll just say your recent posts, your recent posts, classifieds. Why not classifieds? That's what we're dealing with, right? Cool. So let's go ahead and save that up. Come back to our front end here, or we'll reload. And there we go. Your recent classifieds, welcome to your account. I'm actually gonna make this an H1 and make it a little bit bigger because I think these two are too similar. Or you could just go ahead and make this ultra bold. Maybe that's the better way. Ultra bold and then we'll make it a little bit larger, just teeniest bit. Design, text, ultra bold. And then maybe we'll go and just change this 48. There we go. Yeah, that makes more sense. And I'm gonna add a little bit of spacing here. I think these two are kind of living on top of each other a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and change that. It might be better to keep this background white. And that's fine, we'll go ahead and do that, but we won't change too many things because yeah, it does make sense. We're gonna make this header at the top, our gray color. And what we're gonna do is make sure that all these buttons stay on the same line. So coming back here to our section, sorry to make you guys go back and do that, but I do think this will make better sense for our design. Great, and then we're gonna talk about that breathing room. Oops, yeah, now this is why this is happening. This is why the module view is so handy. This. Welcome heading. This is not our recent heading. Let's go ahead and change that out. We're gonna call this uh, welcome text. There we go. And we'll drag that up here. And then we'll just call this our heading. Recent heading. Okay, cool. 
Um, let's update that just really quickly. We might not need that extra padding because the road does provide some extra padding. Yeah, I think that's fine, um, actually. So let's just keep it at this. And um, yeah, we're pretty much done with our dashboard. So let's go ahead and make sure everything is nice and updated. And that's going to be it. So next, we need to work on this header section, so the navigation section. But there's not much to do. I think it's only button styles for now. If you wanted to do something else that's really special, you can add literally any module. So let's take a look at what that looks like. We'll go to account again. We'll go to navigation. And let's take the visual view. You can see there that this module has been added. That is just our special addition with the V machine accounts for you to be able to edit and have control over all of this. But before I forget, and I will forget, let's make this back on that light gray color. And this element here, the row, we're going to give it a little bit more room so that we don't run into the issue we have here where the buttons need to wrap because maybe we're using too much text at the top. Yeah, so just give it that little bit more space in the width capacity. So all we need to do is go to sizing and we'll just set the amount of real estate it can use to 98%, but then of course we need to adjust the width of our page and maybe we'll even just make this 95%. Oh, not that 95, my bad. That's gotta be 85 is what I meant to say. Great. And you know, you can put it in the middle if you wanted to, well, not, not that, but on the actual alignment of the text. Um, for the module, you can put it in the middle, you can do whatever. So let's just quickly take a look at changing these settings. You can say, log me out, you know, whatever you want. You have full control, you can control the buttons and everything here. So let's go to design. And kind of like what I mentioned is that we need to fix this button. And we have done this, I think a thousand times now. Um, you just go open the hover settings, set the radius to 50 and then that is all you need to do with that now for the module text you can control everything you can align the button wherever you want that is going to be up to you if you wanted it in the middle that's great too um but we're going to do just the left side for this layout right here and then you can change text color you know to whatever you want it to be we're just going to keep it at its default and then text size and all that fun stuff you can control you can add box shadow you know probably won't look great here, but you know, just again, you know, maybe on the buttons, it would make sense. I don't know. That's way up to you. Moving on. That's our buttons here. Now, actually, I want to double check and make sure there's no icons because it's going to be a little funky if you hover that and then it like boosts over to the side. Yeah. So this does have icons. So I'm just going to disable that because we do have that hover effect to indicate which one we're looking at at that particular moment. So now I'll just save this and update my page and we can come back on the My Account area and let's take a look at what that did. All right. Okay, we've almost got a full-fledged My Account area. Now, there might be some other things you wanna do here to switch things up a bit, but I think we're in a pretty good space here. Maybe we wanna put another row down here that has like another gray bar just to kind of split up our footer from this area. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, obviously, this is the header area. We're going to add that to the dashboard body. So all we got to do is go over there right now, make sure everything is updated as always. I update like a paranoid mad person because I've had so many times where I lose work. I'm clicking things or just power outage. I don't know. I just like to be super safe. So let's go to my accounts or the account area. We'll go into the dashboard again. And all we'll do is we'll add another section here, single column row, type in image. And I'm going to put the logo down there. So we'll use the dynamic tools here. I'll open up my visual view. And that is obviously way too big. So we'll just come here to the sizing of that image. We'll say the max width of it's going to be 300 pixels. Oh, percent. Nope. Pixels. There we go. And we will go ahead and center that. So that's happiness right there. And I'm going to go ahead and give this section that gray background. So when I update this now and go back to my account, bam, there we have it. I think that looks much more aesthetically pleasing than having this 
content area bleed into a footer on the bottom. So guys, there you have it. This is your dashboard screen fully configured with the navigation at the top. And of course, as we're adding endpoints in the upcoming lessons, those will automatically be added to the top here. So now that's it for this lesson. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one real soon. Thanks.